right, we're going to try to fix Kyle's phone. Kyle's phone I just did a video on, which you can catch on the channel, about the dangers of aftermarket LCDs for the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 has a natural OLED screen, which has a different biology, so you can watch that other video to find out how Kyle got into this mess. Let's take a look here at Kyle's iPhone 10 display connector. So this is really horribly melted and this is what happens if you have a crease in the flex that exposes main and that makes it really easy to touch ground. That'll cause a short circuit and you can fry up the connector here and cause a lot of damage like you can see here on Kyle's phone. So let's try and get Kyle bailed out of trouble and try to get this fixed. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take his board out and I'm gonna put it in a board holder and I'm gonna tr use some low heat and a fine tweezer blade to try to clean out this area so we can see what we're dealing with. some missing or damaged pads to deal with over here so we can read the board and see where all this goes it looks like this lifted one here was our VCC main trace that unusually goes here to the end of the connector so we'll have to repair that and then we're missing a pad that obviously goes here to this guy uh, the second one goes here to this guy the third one we can move over. He's maybe okay. The fourth one is a connection. This one's going to be tough. It's just a connection over here to this other pad. So we'll have to fix that with a micro jumper and some UV glue. This one we can see the torn pad went here. This one is clearly not connected and see because it's not broken from anything. All right, everybody else, we should be able to just clean up. So let's clean our base here and then we'll go harvest a connector. All right, that looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and make our jumper wire that needs to go under the connector and we'll get that in place. All right, for this I'm gonna use some 44 gauge wire. And I'm gonna hold the wire with our blue jumper wire tweezers. So you can find on iPad Rehab Supply the wire and the tweezers that we use. We've started carrying a bunch of different tweezers, each for a different purpose. And these are the ones that I use when I'm having to hold a jumper. And I like these for jumpers because they are kind of too spongy for other uses. So I don't find that I grab them and try to hold a chip or something like that. So they stay kind of pristine for me uh, to hold these, these jumpers. These are the blue ones. have a choice to make. We can either put the connector on or we could make some other jumpers. I'm going to go with making some pre-jumpers on this one since I'm going to be using the UV curable mask to mask over the electrical exposures under the connector right there. And I might as well go ahead and do my other jumpers so that I can just put the connector on. So let's give that a try.
All right, so we're going to put on the UV curable solder mask and cure that with UV light. This is essential stuff that everybody should have that's doing board repair. You can find, find it on iPad Rehab Supply at iPadRehab.com. And I'll show you how I use this stuff. I'm going to put some in a, on a little post-it note. Just squirt it out of the syringe. Then I'm going to use very, very fine edge of my BGA tweezers or even just take a piece of hair and drag it through here to kind of get as fine a paintbrush as you can. I think I will use a piece of hair because a piece of hair is extremely fine. That's some fine hair. So this is a tiny, tiny piece of hair that I can use to make a paintbrush. Look at how tiny that is. This is just a piece of hair, hair, hair. Bunch of bald guys coming in here. You're out of luck, buddy. You're never going to be able to make jumpers in this town. Okay, so we're going to paint on the UV mask to help keep these jumpers in place. We're going to Bob Ross this mofo. All right, now let's cure that, and that will allow us to solder on top of the UV mask so we can put the connector on and attach to those jumpers. They'll be sort of glued down a little bit. So let's cure that with UV light. And this only takes, you know, 10 or 15 seconds. And now that mask is hard and we can solder right on top of it. So let's go harvest our connector. a little bit of that solder that bled into the connector out of there with some braid.
All right. to go around and do every pin individually especially on one with a lot of jumpers just like to see it and be sure I've got a good joint on every spot Now we're going to check in diode mode to see if we actually have the right relative resistance measure inside the connector and that'll tell us if those joints are good or not. So with diode mode red probe on ground I'm going to go down this connector. 282, 690, 406, OL, so number four, we have to check. I don't think that's supposed to be OL. Five. And seven. Make 20. sure that anything that's ground or OL on your multimeter is actually supposed to be like that. OL. All right, so we can just compare our diode mode readings to, um, to ZXW, which has them for the iPhone 10 LCD connector. And we can go down the row and make sure that we have a match for all of them. And then once we do, we'll look around. I'm gonna clean up a little bit of extra solder that I um, rubbed onto the adjacent connector. I'm gonna clean up any debris and then we'll test. is working for touch, image, and display. So you can fix this stuff. And we are gonna advise Kyle to make sure that when he presses that screen in, that you watch it and you pay attention. You make sure that you don't get a crease. And stay away from those aftermarket LCDs for your iPhone 10. Stick with the OEM style OEM LEDs. Get a refurbished one. Uh, find somebody to get you a good screen. And I think it's worth that little bit of extra dollars for the peace of mind of not going so far outside of that design. So there you go. We have fixed Kyle's phone. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. You made it all the way to the end. Great job.
Come and find us at iPadRehab.com and you can learn more about our mail and repair options. You can send us advice for data recovery, buy all your micro soldering supplies, or even figure out how to come out and see us at class. Our five-day practical board repair school runs every month, sometimes with Android chip off data recovery option. And this May, we have our exciting new master class. Check out all about it at www.ipadrehab.com. We'll see you there.